Hey guys, thanks for dropping by to see what I'm up to today. Today, first, I want to thank everyone who has supported my channel by subscribing, even when I wasn't putting out any videos. Uh, I, I was amazed at that, and I was, uh, I'm was i truly grateful that people were showing their response by saying, uh, you may not put, be putting out any videos, but the ones that you have put out are worth us hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I've been away because I've been, I did another career. Uh, my former uh, job involved what, it was transportation and I felt like I was driving fast and going in lots of circles and I wanted to do something in the world. So, well, I was doing something. I was serving customers and that's important. So I decided to teach and I started teaching middle school. Well, I thought because I was a good instructor, I'd be a good teacher. Uh, teachers these days have to do more than just instruct. I can teach anybody how to weave a basket, but uh, inspiring a young person to want to learn is beyond my skill set. And I tried. I worked a semester in a local middle school. Uh, now I'm going back to my former career and I'm going to drive in circles and go fast. Um, today... I'm going to just put out a little video uh, about something people have been talking about. Uh, these uh, small QRP, uh, small footprint antennas, people call them compromise antennas. But the real truth is the, the antenna that you're using is the best antenna. And you're using it for a reason. You can't afford another one. Another one doesn't fit in the suitcase. So the antenna you have is the best antenna. Now, babe, my video isn't about the antennas. It's about... Uh, a radial system that other people have been talking about. And uh, you can employ this with anything. You can use it with your wolf or recoil. You can, I, I'm using it with my um, chameleon impasse. You can use it with your AX1 if you want to, or if you have the G Gable. And that's what the HOIA ham uh, promotes this and uh, taught me how to do this. Now, none of this is my idea, but I did want to share with you what a great idea I think it is. So I got this straight from the HOA ham. It is a banana plug attached to radio wire. Again, whatever wire you're using, whatever wire you have is the best radio wire. So this is a whole set of radios ready to be plugged into a system in my antenna at any time. It's easy to carry, easy to use easy to deal with different banana plugs whichever one you choose come come apart differently and i'm imagining the best ones to use are the ones with the set screws to hold the wire in maybe the top one's going to grab the casing uh, sorry the wire and maybe the bottom one's going to grab part of the casing but i still think it'll work but these are the set screws when they're taken out, not on concrete on the gravel. These are the set screws. Try to focus in. Drip the wires you have. Put them together the best way you know how so that they fit into the banana plug. And this is what the banana plug looks like without the set screw. So I'm just gonna take my wire, and I know you're gonna do a better job of getting it in there. But as I'm looking at it, I can see the wire positioned in such a way that both set screws are gonna grab a hold. That's in there pretty tight.
So there you have it, guys. It's my attempt at uh, getting back into the video game. I uh, just spent some days out at Quartz Fest, Quartzite, um, uh, hanging out with some guys. It was Chuck, KK6USY, uh, Jason, Ham Radio 2.0, KC5HWB. Of course, there was uh, Red Summit RF, Tank Radio, Javi, J uh, K6TNT. So another new development. I've moved back into the bus. And um, I was inspired by those guys. And um, this was my attempt. Again, I didn't come up with any of this. It was uh, the HOA Ham. If you're familiar with this channel, then you're already familiar with this. But I wanted to bring this to people who hadn't seen it yet and uh, show somebody else using it. Thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you out there. Bye.